Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun look at uh, the latest release of Ubuntu on the left, so 20.10 versus the latest release of Manjaro. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the version in here because these are in fact rolling releases. So we'll see if we can find that information there. But uh, basically, uh, starting off, so these are actually both of the, the GNOME desktop environments, as you can see there. They are a little bit uh, optimized differently, or they, they do just uh, have those slight uh, differentiating factors there. Manjaro is very well known for this this nice green dark green and, and uh, dark sort of a let's call it a gray or black uh, color accent or, or tone to it whereas Ubuntu does have its own purple and uh, black as well but uh, yeah very cool looking colors I've always enjoyed Manjaro there but uh, this video is a bit more than just about the colors so let's load up some of the uh, the basic specs here so starting off we can see the version ins and somewhat the version in there now uh, let's see the the desktop environments. I've mentioned that there, but it is run, they are both running on the GNOME desktop environment. These are really both the default desktop environments for each of the machines. Technically, there they do pretty much the same thing. We've got the the menus option. We've got the the the, the software. That that's all pretty much identical. Uh, although the, some of the differences here is the sidebar. I do like the sidebar for uh, Manjaro. It is a little bit similar in nature. Not exactly the same, but similar to the Ubuntu one on the side there as well. Just a little bit more condensed and uh, centralized. Now the, the file managers, I would expect these to be exactly the same. Uh, something called uh, the files for the file manager. So about files, about files, otherwise known as Nautilus, GNOME. Versioning is pretty similar. On the topic of version in here, uh, let's have a look. So uh, let's have a look at the kernel for a second there. See if we can find it. So the kernel for Ubuntu 20.10 is 5.13. Pretty good. Whereas the kernel for uh, Manjaro is uh, 5.10. A little bit older, but uh, that can actually be changed if you really wanted it to. The whole point of Manjaro is to have all the power of the Arch, or, or sorry, the Arc um, backend, the Arc Linux backend, with the simplicity of, of the GNOME desktop interface on the front end. So it just has a bit of a different ethos there. Arc, the Arc backend does have quite a, a enthusiastic, quite a large enthusiastic, enthusiastic community. So if you were to install it, you, you're definitely going to have someone online that's, that's going to have had a problem you've had before or be able to help you fix something there. Same can absolutely, though, be said with Ubuntu, probably one of the most popular distributions out there for Linux at the moment. In fact, my daily driver as well. Uh, let's have a look at some of the final specs here, or the uh, the usage specs. So CPUs generally idling out there. Now we've got about 700 meg of RAM on boot up in use for the RAM for Ubuntu. There's about 900 megabytes of um, of RAM in on boot up in use for Manjaro. So it's something just to keep in mind. Maybe use a little bit of extra data there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.